<laughs> master! Master! What do you have for me, little one? I stole for you the most expensive ring ever made! The famous Star Spark Diamond! Ah, excellent! <laughs> This is the tackiest damn thing I've ever seen. Yes! It's perfect! Hyrule is all about tasteless extravagance! I'm so pleased, Master. Thank you for being so brave about my marriage, darling. I know it can be scary to let a stranger into your life. Oh, Mama. I get along with everybody. And if you like him, then I'm sure he's great. <laughs> Princess! Uh... Guest has just arrived. Understood. Show him in. Yay! Mama, I take it all back. Please, please, please don't marry that evil man! Oh, Riku. Please give him a chance for me. But Mama, he won't tell. He's gonna hurt you, please. I... And how exactly can you tell? I don't know. I mean, he looks evil, man. Now, is that a fair way to judge someone? I guess not. So? Okay, I'll give him a chance. Only because I love you, though. But if he hurts you, I'll kill him. Forgiven. Now please go to your room and study until bedtime. Yes, Mama. You have quite a little warrior. She's just brimming over with reckless courage, isn't she? I assume she gets it from her blood, Father. Blurt out all the wild assumptions you want when we are in private. Now you may speak freely. Good. Then tell me honestly. The girl is your love child with Link, isn't she? Rinku is mine by adoption. I would never do something so vulgar as to have sexual intercourse out of wedlock. Ha! Of course! You just stroll around the countryside adopting uppity children for no reason. Don't insult me with your lies. That kiss you gave me spoke the truth well enough. You've had plenty of lovers, haven't you? <laughs> Now is not the time to talk about your filthy fantasies. We need to begin negotiating the terms of our marriage. As you wish. Then, for the first order of business, I request to become Rinku's adoptive father. Why? Aside from the obvious fact that a present father is better than an absent one, I will bring out her full potential. I have a great deal of experience with raising strong children. And what do you get out of it? Well, the bonus on my part is that I will take Link's place in her heart. So when the puny green-clad hero returns to challenge me, his own blood child will fight by my side to destroy him. Oh, what a relief. I fear that you suddenly became a man with decent moral character. Ooh, such biting sarcasm, Zelda. I'm truly wounded. <laughs> <laughs> Antique. It was a flimsy trap! Calm yourself. Let's get back to business. <laughs> I am calm. Good. Then in regards to your request, if you are sincere about being a good father to her, then I will approve it. On the condition that she does as well. But know this. 
If you try to use Riku as some sort of pawn, I assure you, it will backfire in the worst of ways. My children are pawns to no one, not even me. With Rinku, it will be no different. Let's hurry and get the details of our union sorted out so I can have a talk with her. For Din's sake, just sign the damn paper! How many times must we revise these wretched contracts? As many as it takes for them to be acceptable to both of us. Okay, take another look at yours. I think this might be the end of it. Hmm, we'll see about that. Here's yours. I get Andorf agree to marry and be faithful to Zelda Hyrule. I will share equally with her an ownership of all things, including the Triforce pieces and Kingdom of Hyrule. I will not I interfere with her mandate. Be faithful, strikes, I will share equally. I will take no action to kill her. I will bear at least twelve of Ganondorf Dragmire's children. Twelve children? I want a large family. And I will not move from this spot until- How about three? That's practically an empty home. Nine. Five. Ten. One. Fine. Six. But that's as low as I'll go. Finally! Indeed. It's a relief to have all the details settled. Riku should be in bed by now, but you may speak with her tomorrow. I'll show you to your room so you can rest. Not so fast, princess. We have one last detail to address. And what would that be? If you ever say I was responsible for driving my kingdom to ruin again, I will murder you where you stand. Explain yourself! I will tolerate that ignorant lie no longer. My people were dying out long before I first entered this world. Our land became a desert beneath our feet. We froze in the night. And burned in the day. I lost so many children, lovers, and sisters, that I can't even remember all of their faces anymore. And when your people refused to even do fair trade with us, we had no choice but to steal what we needed. Make no mistake, Princess. The first time I attacked your kingdom, it was out of desperation, not out of greed. After our defeat, soldiers from your kingdom exterminated us. The few that weren't slaughtered were scattered. Our culture was erased from the world. In this life, I have never met another Gerudo aside from my mother. She was a desperate young prostitute who was only valued for being exotic. She died before I could even learn her name. I worked for a brothel I was born in until my teenage years with a Triforce of Power reawoke inside me. I yet again remembered my true past and greatness. My people's greatness. I left that wretched place, and with nothing but my own power, I reformed my armies, and became king again. So don't you dare think that your people have no blood on their hands. They destroyed us. Isn't written in the history books. I have no memory of such events, but my memory from past lives has always been thin. I often have nothing more than glimpses and feelings. Was... was it... one of my past incarnations that committed these atrocities? No. If you were responsible, I would have killed you on that mountaintop. And don't bother me with the obvious. I am well aware of your ironic forgetfulness. That is not the issue right now. I demand an apology for your earlier accusation that my reign caused the ruin of my kingdom. 
I was wrong and am deeply sorry. And I swear to you, if any perpetrators are still alive, they will face trial. The names of the guilty, living or dead, will be dishonored. I will make sure that justice will be done. Don't make promises you can't keep. But I know you will try. I am grateful for your understanding, Ganondorf. But there is another side of this issue we must address. Choose your words carefully, Princess. Or you may not leave this room alive. You've killed millions of people, Ganondorf. Your wars have burned through my kingdom over and over for generations. Most of the victims were innocent of the crimes that were committed against you and the rest of the Gerudo. But in your hatred, you slaughtered them all the same. I cannot simply dismiss your guilt for that. What do you want from me? Do you expect me to just forgive and forget what was done to me? To my people? Do you feel entitled to some kind of atonement? The only thing I want is what you're already giving me. A chance to stop this pattern of violence. I honestly did not expect you to accept my proposal. I respect you greatly for taking this first step with me. Hmm. Uh. Well, Zelda. I must say, I'm impressed with you as well. Risking your life for such an unlikely plan, agreeing to marry and birth the child of a man you do not love. This is a deep personal sacrifice that you've made. I don't have any fantasies that you care for me either, Ganondorf. This commitment is difficult for both of us. Well, I would I... say that it's quite so difficult. May I have another kiss, my darling fiancé? That is... acceptable, yes. But shouldn't we... Fine, but you're really missing out. <laughs>